This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations viewers, Valdemar here with more Trinity Souls of Zillow for the PS3. Today we're going to keep doing adventures and missions, you know, keep building up our stats and abilities. But let's check a couple things before we go. Let's check the rumors. The spectators, what did they have to say? Re as busy as ever. Who would have put your money on? I just say, Re, I can't believe he's still undefeated after all those battles. Because all women sound like that. Uh, gossip. Dark with Master Dury used to be a gladiator himself. Really good one at that. When he announced his retirement, many people rushed him, wishing to trade under him. That guy looks like Rocky Balboa or something like that. It's like, yeah, I just did training methods to show how the lot of people get up. Yeah, yeah, the one's amazing and true and personal. What do you have to say, Dorado? Don't have any issues with half elves, as you know. We don't normally get along with humans and elves. Really? Never really thought about that. Or it. The only thing that ever mattered to me was Arius, the man I trained with. Is that right? I bet nothing bothers you. Who cares about race? If you get along, you get along. If you don't, you don't. I don't think it gets any simpler than that. If only all people thought like that, folks. If only all people thought like that. Let's check the shop room. Oh, hello. Master, what about this? It's an item that would be absolutely perfect for mages. Right now, I can sell it to you for cheap, but... I'm sorry, but I just got one. I heard that the Fugo Corpor Cooperative has a lot of them, so I was able to pick it up for cheap on the down low. No, really? Aced out by competitive competition again. Must be nice being the continent's most influential merchant. There's no doubt Mr. Fugo is the ideal place to find and stock up on things. It's very handy. And furthermore, recently it looks like they've been searching for rare artifacts. Something that's, that seems rare is found is taking Mr. Fugo. Even if we were just up against him, there's no way we'd stand a chance. Well, until next time. Well, I'll make a note of that, just to, just to let you folks know. Um, I don't think there's actually anything I need to actually buy right now. Not really. I don't have an amulet. Um, well, that'd be good. Um, I think for the early game, something like this would be good to have. Yeah, let's go equip that. I get more money and experience. It's always good. Alright, uh, the arena, you can also, I just thought I'd show this, you can actually pay money and then fight through certain things and you get a reward for doing it. Uh, right now, level 8 is all we got. I did a level 1 earlier to get some healing potions. Uh, there's a time limit, the type of creatures you fight, and what level they are. I would get murdered at this level, so I'm not going to do that. Or at least, I wouldn't do very well. So let's just go ahead and do an adventure. Oh, Arius, perfect timing. I have a job here for uh, from a nearby town just for you. A pair of adventurers set out to hunt down a monster, but uh, one of them saw the monster took off running on their own, leaving the other behind. Reports say the monster is still running loose, so something must have happened to him. Can you go to the Charity Springs Forest and see what happened? No thanks, I don't have time to babysit. Now, Arius, Master Darkwin told me that I could rely on you, no matter the job. This will be quick, I promise. Over before you know it. Mr. Darkwind and Dorado have been singing nothing but praise for you. You don't want to turn them into liars, do you? It's been days since we've heard from the lost man. He'll probably be starving, so bring this along, just in case. Saw him to be a delivery boy, too. Fine, I'll bring him back here. Is that alright? That's right. Oh, by the way, there's a handy little item called a scroll of return. I'll give you one to try out. Uh, but don't think this means you're going to leave the other adventure behind. Paris thought. Oh, the reward will be here waiting, so make sure you come back after rescuing him. Unlike standard quests, these special requests will need to be reported to the place from which you received them. Might be a little bit more effort, but it's so much more personal, don't you think? Uh, based on the scrolls, I assume can be used so you don't have to walk through the whole map to get back to the entrance. I assume that's how it's supposed to be. We've got a buff of bread. Got a scroll of return. Can you get any other quests while we're out here? Um, uh, I didn't even do any of my levels. Level 3 can probably handle that. Uh, I'll take that too, why not? Actually, why don't we just do all of them? I know the game said something about just doing one quest at a time, but eh. Alright, let's leave. 
I might do the sand one off screen depending on uh, how I feel. A rich evergreen forest, once home to some lost civilization, man made objects can be spotted and intertwined within the vegetation. Rain for periodic squalls passing through have created a number of ponds throughout the forest. Okay, so we've got the. we got that mission. But let's do the story mission today. Okay, let's do it. Like I said, it really depends on how I'm feeling if I decide to record certain uh, adventures off uh, on screen or off screen. Like I said, it really depends on how I'm feeling. It seems like we got harpies in this area. All right, let's uh, deliver this loaf of bread to the hungry adventurer. Adventures, saving adventures. How passe. I'm not gonna be friends with Aris's ice mist spell, which we got from leveling up last time. Or not level up from the last mission. Enemies can be frozen as well. Frozen enemies take more damage. Uh, if left alone, we'll recover, and it will be more difficult to do it again. Uh, some some resistance. Gotcha. Okay. That looks like we got. Oh, well, I destroyed that, didn't I? That looks like we got stuck your standard wolf. Wolves are actually pretty dangerous in real life, actually. I don't know, like, in the game it might not seem like much, but oh god. I mean, it's like when you, like, it's like, have you ever had, like, an angry dog attack you before? Yeah, I didn't, no, I just, just think of that a uh, doubled, you know, for when you fight a wolf. Especially if they're hungry and you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're defenseless. Ooh, boy. Boy, out of here. Did more damage to him. What's in here? There we go. Oh, revival medicine. We can always use more medicine and heals. Excellent. You gotta do it like Mr. Birds. Put my hands together. Excellent. Or if you're Vincent Price in the old uh, Batman 66 era. Excellent. The yoke's on you. Yeah, no worry. There we go. Oh, another scroll will turn. They're just dropping them like the candy. I guess you get a scroll return, you get a scroll return. Oh. Oh, he didn't really get frozen, huh? Freeze! Oh. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age! Yeah, ooh, ah, ooh. Although it would be kind of cool to have a wolf as a pet, I must admit. Although, I mean, I'm not one of those stupid people that goes, oh, I think it's my tiger, just keep it, you know, it's, it's easy. I'm like, no, no, it's not. Unless you're severely rich and have the money to, like, like, put it in an area to where it can, like, run free and do whatever. Yeah, but uh, most normal people can't do that. That's why I don't get pets, that's why I don't get, like, pets like an owl and stuff like that, you know. Because it's a bit more difficult to deal with. That was the, that was one of the problem a lot of the animal breeders had with the Harry Potters when it first came out. And everyone had owls. Everyone's like, I gotta get an owl to them, and they're like, uh, no, uh, owls are actually terrible pets and hard to and hard to control unless you know what you're doing. A Typhon. What kind of like juices actually? Oh, a siren, huh? Siren leading men to their deaths since the days of uh, Odysseus. Was it Odysseus or was that Jason and Argonauts? It's been a while since I've uh, stayed up on my um, Greek mythology, as it were. Yeah. Ah, I'm so used to a game just like just being able to run by something and activate it, but this game you have to stop for a second, you know, and then you're like, you know, calm down. You can't run by it. Just open a treasure chest. Okay, okay. Oh, right. Yeah. I might as well have made it for now. But, let's see. Yeah, I think... I'm trying to think how sirens are portrayed in, in like, games like D&D and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think... Because the sirens in this game are designed similar to the, to the, um, the harpies, which they are not in the D&D uh, world, or most fantasy genre. But, you know, this is their... Well, that's the thing about fan about uh, fantasy genre. You can basically do whatever you want with any creature, and really, well, people complain, but uh, there's really no reason to, because like people put the fantasy, they're not real. You know, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, sure, if you want people to have a reference for something, 
then yeah, you'll sometimes want to do the the same design as maybe someone else would in a previous game or, or book or whatever. But, uh, but no, you're not required. That's why that's why a lot of mystical creatures are uh, open uh, open license, so you can use. It's like why goblins and orcs are used to uh, actually full on recovery. Huh? Oh well. There we go. Flame on. That should be the uh, that should be the uh, uh, the uh, National Gay Association's like a catchphrase. Flame on. No, I'm just kidding. They can say whatever they want. Uh, okay, so... Oops. Skill's gonna be upgraded. I think I can actually do that now. I don't want to do that yet. I just want to go to my map. Okay, so I, I just... Oh, okay, there's a couple of places I haven't been. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and explore this. Why not? I mean, this this will basically be the whole episode we'll be doing this. Like I said, this is why I'm trying to decide if I really want to uh, record missions that don't have a story-based thing to them, because... It's basically going to be a whole episode of me just doing, like, no story plot. And I feel like recording non-plot, depending on the game, is kind of not, is like, not that important, you know? I don't know. Like I said, it'll, it'll probably change how, how, with, like, how the series goes on and stuff like that. I, I might, like, change the mind, or, or I'll do some, I might record some missions, and, uh, like, ones that are funny. Or if it has a unique monster in it, maybe I'll record it, you know, stuff like that. Ooh, an ambulance, huh? Okay, then that ties around. Oh, what we got? Let's see if that it landed right on top of it. Convenient. I've noticed the uh, treasure chests are kind of hard to see, like, uh, depending on the dungeon, so I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. You know, it's free treasure. Keep that up to date, mind you. But, uh, yeah. So, keep an eye out for those treasures. You'll let me know in the future, right, viewers? You'll, uh, you'll, you'll tell me. You missed that sem a gold semiconductor. Oh, wait, that's Dead Space. <laughs> you can tell I sometimes listen to other people when they when they do games, uh, like when they play through games like these as well, just to kind of give me a frame of reference. Whoops. That's not what I want to press. It's like it's like a, like what I did in some of my previous games where I kept pressing the wrong like start step select or what or vice versa. Even though I've clearly done it like a billion times, I still keep doing that. But anyway, I was mentioning that sometimes I'll listen to uh, other people play through games to just to kind of like kind of give me a sense of like what to like do or say. Even though I'm never as entertaining as like some of the people I listen to, but uh, at least kind of try to get an idea. Oh, oh, my stomach. What am I going to do? Oh. Need a hand? Oh, any way you can help me get out of here? I haven't eaten for days. Oh. Hope that'll make it easier to pull you up. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Uh, I don't know how I fell <laughs> for such a simple trap. You must be the man I heard about at the guild. I brought this bread for you. Mm? Oh, give me that. <laughs> I'm Dagda, adventurer at your service. I am called Arius. Hmm, Arius. Would you mind joining me for a while? I need to finish up a job I'm on. Are you sure the job is still waiting for you? I think the job is <laughs> still valid. And I never leave a job undone. Of course, I'll give you uh, half the pay. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> yeah. If you think I could help you, I don't mind. Well, <laughs> good man. Don't worry. Let's go. Come on, Arius. It'll be fun. Yeah, well, it's like we've got a... Da was it Dagna? Is his name? Why is it again that I'm involved with your job? 
Dang. Well, after my partner ran off, I was fighting alone here in the forest. <laughs> I was facing off against a particularly nasty wolf and took a step back straight into the hidden pit. From the looks of it, I've been there for days. Just my luck. So much time has passed since taking the job, I can't go back empty-headed now. I'm still a bit off from being crammed in that hole for days, so I appreciate the much-needed help. I'll just try not to get in my way. Oh, Mr. Emo over here. Ah, don't worry about me. I can hold my own. Then uh, we've got a guy who was introduced at the beginning of the game, which was near the end of the game. So we know that he's a, we know that he won't die and that he's important. At least, unless you can choose different adventures to join you from the end of the game. But, yeah, we'll find out when it happens. All right, Dagnus joined my team. All right. Can switch characters by... Uh, we, we've gone through the whole tutorial. Why are you telling me again? Did we not pay attention during that beginning? I guess we didn't. Anytime you like. He does heavy damage. Uh, certain attacks don't stun him. Uh... Although he's weak to magic. Uh, for now, the game will not end. Venarius is defeated. The game will continue on as long as your repairing members are alive. Uh, then we can capacitate. Max energy will decrease. Okay. Thank you for joining my team. Oh, has so he got a. Is that like a. Character is not currently being controlled by occasion. You may occasionally use magic or other methods to fill you up. Type depends on which one you're performing. Aries powers up attack. Dagnan powers up attack. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Hopefully the AI will do that regularly. Unlike some games where they only do it like whenever they feel like it or if it's completely unnecessary. But, uh, well, like I said, it depends on the AI. Usually the Omega Force AI isn't completely stupid. I mean, from what I remember, especially on, especially you fight bosses on harder difficulties. So I probably should wait. My favorite is to pick. Oh, uh huh. That's funny. You can pick up pull the pillars and use them to fight people. Okay. It's sure that there's a thing over here. I guess that must mean this is. You must have to unlock this as part of like another mission or something. Okay, we'll skip that for now. I was wondering why I saw that in the map. I was like, huh, why can't I go through there? But I can't. I can't expect 100 complete percent areas, like, first time Let's through. Let's go get them! That, that's happened to me where I've, like, drug out a whole area just because I'm like, oh, you know, I can, uh. Because I'm like, oh, I still haven't found everything. And then, but yet the game will be like, uh, you do know you have to come back here later, right? Oh, soul burst! Somehow, like the first time we fight with this guy, he knows how to soul burst with me. Whew. Yeah, that's game mechanics. It makes sense. Somehow. Uh, trees! Treants! This is this ain't your no, fellow tree beard from Lord of the Rings, no sir Reek. Actually, usually in most mythologies, the treants are usually considered good at the, t at the point of that they are they won't generally hurt or kill people, they'll, uh... Uh, they'll, uh... If they're considered ever bad guys, it's all it's when nature is in danger. Then they'll, then they'll go all, all berserk on you. Uh, okay, my mind. Oh, did I actually... Oh, no, wait, hold on. Oh, I accidentally pressed the L2 button, or R2 button at some point. And I was like, why can't I use my eyes? I assume water is a better conductor for the ice spell, like, uh, it, like, increases the chance it goes on freezing someone, I assume. Which I am, I like stuff like that, kind of like shooting electricity and water in, like, games, like, uh... Okay, so we can't... But, little fire scarecrow. Oh, yeah. So you got it. Oh, we got some bread! Magical bread! Not just regular bread. It has to be magical. All right. Well, anyway, let's keep going. Let's watch us. Oh, thank you. I was wondering when you gonna do that again. Take that, Medusa. Oh, I'm sorry, Trion or Trigon or whatever, whatever you're called. Or Lamia. You could also call Lamia. That's pretty much what that was. Like. There we go. 
I'll do all the upgrading and equipment and all that when I uh, when I finish quests instead of like laws or them. It just makes me easier for me. Try to knock this down. There we go. All right. I was gonna say it'd probably be easier to not get hit by them and not to uh, not stick it around. I'm good! <laughs> As my character just dies from the plague. Uh, luckily the game does kill you, uh, just restore your life after, uh, after combat ends. See, I can't get through there either. That's probably another acrobats, or acrobatic character's, uh, that uh, entrance and exit, I bet. Wait, if only the acrobatic character, then we can go through these things, then why would- oh. Invisible and plot wall. Or not invisible. Whoa, that was that was bad. That was bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. How do you use items in the game? I guess you just highlight and use it. Okay, good. Good thing I had a couple. I was, I was afraid of dying. What are those? Direwolf can cast magic? Usually in a usually D and D, there's stronger wolves. That's it. They're like, well, it definitely it's definitely surprising. If it was the direwolf that cast the magic, I couldn't tell. I'm assuming it was, but it could have been the snake lady for all I know. The typhon or whatever. There we go. Okay, and that one was also a. Also, well, yeah, so I can go through there. Okay, let's fight this creature and uh, help uh, Dagna. Right, his name is Dagna, right? Dagda. Dagda? Really? Alright, anyway, let's help him fight this creature. Hmm, Arius, would you mind joining me? Oh, that's just copying that one. Oh, let's go ahead and save it just in case I die. I shouldn't, but you never know. You'd be surprised how often I play the game where I'm just like, oh, it'll be easy. And then I, then I get completely reamed. Kind of like playing uh, Bloodborne. Oh boy. Talk about a game that's fun and frustrating at the exact same time. Uh oh. Oh, i just. We must cue in the unsettling music. No way am I fighting it right now. Uh, I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to be going, but. Uh oh. Ah. Oh, what was that? Oh, I was like, what was that? What's that? Oh my god, let's go. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh. Uh oh. He stuck in place. He used Tangle or something like that. I assume. I assume the trees are weak against the fire. I assume. I could be wrong, but. Uh, I don't know if he's taking any damage. I was. I kind of wish there was like a, a damage system so you could kind of tell if it was actually. There might be. I might have to go into the item. Oh. I might have to go into the uh, uh, option setting after all this done to see if there's a, a damage thing which tells you like. Or maybe there's a ring where there's like a. a what? Mana core? Whoa! Holy crap! I assume that's a mana core. Yep, Manicor. A Chimera, an amalgamation of multiple creatures and then woo. Whatever his weakness is. Oh, okay, ice, huh? Okay. Well that makes sense, I guess. You have trained? Okay. I thought I hit him with ice, didn't I? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button, I did it again. Where? Oh, I'm surprised that didn't hit me. Ah, dang it. If the ice spell wasn't so slow, it'd probably be fine, but, uh, whoops. 
Yeah, see, like the, the circle. Oh, I, I keep uh, switching out my, uh, my set, my skill set by accident. Yeah, see, like, by the time I, uh, that, that thing pops up, I have to, uh, I have to hopefully guess that they, he's gonna use his ability, you know what I mean? Hmm. I'm doing very good so far. Got him, finally. Uh oh. He's mad now. I don't know what that means, but he's mad. Ah, dang it. I might, I might be able to take one more smack before, uh, before I have to. Uh, Oh, crap. There we go. Ah, how did that didn't set up his, uh, his thing? Man, yeah, I hit him with it. Why didn't he activate the, the, the ring or whatever it is? I'm not sure. I really... Not sure, like what activates what. I'm not sure what to say, folks. I the combat isn't bad, but I'm kind of missing Dragon Dogma right now. I don't know if anyone remembers me playing that. That was actually a pretty fun game for what it was. Unfortunately, the combat is a little inspired. At least when it comes to uh, boss combat. Ow. Hey, he got him. Thanks, buddy. This is the ice thing. Boy, really works when he's attacking. Mancores are pretty pretty dangerous in a, in a D and D actually, um, mainly because they can fly, they can shoot like sneakers at you. I don't remember them having fire breath though, but uh, ah well, he's squashed now. He's dead. Actually, did I even have a soul blast ability? I didn't even think that maybe I did at some point and I never used it. Ah, he's, the mancor is dead. Either way, Dagda. Not a simple hole managed to trap someone as strong as you anyway. Oh, haha, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. You know, I get hungry. I can't seem to focus for the life of me. Had I tried to fight that monster with one, the one I first partnered up with, I don't think we would have made it. So I'm away, falling in the hole saved me a lot of trouble. I've traveled these lands for many years, but for some reason I never could stay with the same partner. Recently, I get the feeling that if I want to continue adventuring in my old age, I should find someone I can trust. Hmm. That's it. Why don't we team up? We'll have a grand adventure, putting down demons and monsters like all across the land. What? I think it's a splendid idea. Besides, if we're together, it'll make it easier for me to repay my debt to you. So, I look forward to working with you, Arius. Now, I should tell you, I prefer to eat six times a day, and I always have breakfast. Arius, are you listening? You were going on for so long that I thought if I stopped listening, you would stop talking. Look, I have no interest in partying with anyone. Well, I suppose the idea will take some getting used to, but I don't think I'll be great help. All this adventure is big or small. If something they are after, what is it you are after? Listen. It's decided. No matter what you say, I'm not leaving your side until I at least repay my debt to you. Ah, <sighs> Do what you like. Ha ha ha! I will, believe me. Ah, standing firm and tall against all the dangers the world throws against us. That's what being an adventure is all about. Anyway, the job is done. Let's go back. 
Oh, right. Do you happen to have a scroll of return on you? I'm fresh out. Yeah, it just happens I was given one by Hakim, the Hakim, or Hakim, one of the two, the Guildmaster. All right, so, scroll return can instantly teleport you back outside of a dungeon. They're useful for returning the quest to town. Can't use it when you're in battle. Uh, any members can be teleported. Uh, since other people... Okay, so if it's not a main character, or not a player, then it will... Then you shouldn't be here. So you have to use it. Let me grab this before I go. Revival this. All right. Yeah, it's been a long, long episode, but I don't want to quite finish it until we officially uh, turn it in. So let's do that. Then we'll... Man. I'm going to have to be careful about... Uh, about... Uh, about this game, because I've noticed that the game, like, these types of fighting games can take be either short or long, depending on how I, how they're done. Sorry about this, Arius. But you should go into the city by yourself. I'll be waiting for you out here. Don't you want to see what other jobs there are? Well, me and Liberdom have kind of a history. It's better if I don't go in. Oh, I see. Relax. I can always pick up more supplies in another city. Besides, Arius, if I don't go over there, I won't be able to pick up the bounty you earned for us. <laughs> well, I suppose we're all entitled to our secrets. All right, then. When you're ready, we'll meet back here. <laughs> Agreed, Arius. I'll see you again for our next job. Apparently, Dagda is not a uh, not able to enter this. I should really do that off screen. I don't know why I keep doing that. All right. Anyway. All right. So we finished our mission, uh, saved Dagda, and we also killed a Manticore, which is something to add to our little repertoire of monsters defeated. So in the next episode of Trinity's Souls of Zill, we'll turn in the reward, get the get, or turn in the quest, ugh, turn in the quest, get the reward, and continue adventuring, giving ourselves more power money and gold. You, first you get the power, then you get the gold, then you get the women, then you get the glory, or however it's said. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.